event teams Inshallah. welcome you once again let us go to the to demo here and digital marketing so can learn other ones that are today we want like to teach you we're going to show you for less learn from the market and less from the noise who are project. carry out the software themselves we imagine sometimes we are playing another thing for you Describe the file to is to drag the easiest way to transcribe a file is to drag it into an empty project and transcription will start automatically in this screen, you can set the speaker label, or in a file with multiple speakers, you can use Descript's automatic speaker detection. Here I know there are three speakers in this interview that I'm transcribing. In a moment, Descript will alert you that it's detected the different speakers in the file. Click Identify Speakers to type in the speaker labels. What do you do? Click on it to download. Nice. So we are doing this... Um... Austin Hospitality. And we... Show you step by step. Now your transcript is ready. You can listen by hitting the play button or simply hitting spacebar. Is it important to keep like three products in the market? It keeps. And you can navigate to different parts of the file by clicking or so during not, playback option. Uh, our, um, homie. What are like, what are the most Children, you got to know how to. So while you put this fit in the ask you for your Transcribing video files works exactly the same way. I'll show you by going to file and create a new project. And now I will drag in a video file. All right, my video file is transcribed. In this case, I didn't run speaker detection, so I can simply set the speaker here. Getting it for you and you download it and we continue our work. So you just have to wait a little. The easiest way to transcribe a file is to drag it into an empty project, and transcription will start automatically. In this screen, you can set the speaker label. Or, in a file with multiple speakers, you can use Descript's automatic speaker detection. Here I know there are three speakers in this interview that I'm transcribing. Yeah. In a moment, Descript will alert you that it's detected the different speakers in the file. Click Identify Speakers to type in the speaker labels. Nice. So we are doing this... Um... Austin Hospitality. And we... Now your transcript is ready. You can listen by hitting the play button or simply hitting spacebar. Is it important to keep like food products in the market? It keeps. And you can navigate to different parts of the file by clicking or so during playback option. Our um, homie. What are like, what are the most Children, you got to know how. Yeah. Transcribing video files works exactly the same way. I'll show you by going to file and create a new project. And now I will drag in a video file. All right, my video file is transcribed. In this case, I didn't run speaker detection, so I can simply set the speaker here. The easiest way to transcribe a file is to drag it in. Because you can see it has finally opened. So first of all, if you try to sign in again, what you need to do is to go back to your email and click on your email. Screen recording. Let's just screen recording. Open the descript because they send a message. Just screen recording. Then click on continue from your email. So that should have recorded. You are the owner of the email. Once that is done, everything moves smoothly until you get to this place. So hoping that you are with me because I've been in practical. If you're on a Mac, then before you can use Descript to record your screen or camera you'll need to enable several system level preferences. The quickest way to do that is to click on the Descript icon in your menu bar. That'll pop up this window which shows you the permissions that you need to enable. Access to your camera, access to your microphone, and access to record your screen. If you click any of these icons, it'll open up the Apple System Preferences menu and you can go ahead and enable them. I'm not going to close my app right now, but in order to use this functionality, I will need to quit and reopen once I've enabled all of the permissions. Same thing here. Sometimes, in order to grant a permission, you might need to click on this lock icon and give you a password. 
And now that I have enabled all three permissions, I can quit the script, reopen, and get started recording my screen. And what I'm going to choose, you choose that by that has the background noise. If you're on a Mac, then before you can use Descript to record your screen or camera, you'll need to enable several system level preferences. The quickest way to do that is to click on the... Okay, so that's how you use Descript's recorder, but I don't want to edit a video of myself for this demo. Instead, I found an unedited video of the vlogger Hank Green that he has made available on YouTube for anyone to edit. We'll go ahead and load that in. So let me just delete this, select all, delete, and drop in this file. And I hit transcribe, and in a minute, I'll have a fully transcribed video. All right, we've got our video. You'll notice that it's fully transcribed, and as I click around here, it's also moving the timeline. If you've used a timeline editor to edit video in the past, this timeline view works similarly. I am going to start here by first adding a speaker label. And now I want to show you a little bit about how this video was recorded. So if we just watch a little bit of it. Probably, I meant that probably all of us believe that it's very difficult not to believe. So you'll notice the way that Hank records is that he'll record a line or two, he'll do several takes, and then he'll look over at his computer to read his script for his next line. And he uses a style that's common among vloggers where you have a lot of very fast jump cuts in order to keep things moving. Descript is perfect for editing this kind of video because instead of editing using just thumbnails on a timeline, you have the actual words. Have a nice day. Adult voice intensive Thank you for broadcasting, screen recording. Once again, this event. Is that this clip can help you to do so many things. Help you to record your screen. Help you to do many things. So that's the power of this script. But now let's focus on audio jump first. Or even you can pick as many as you can, as many as you can that you know you're going to use it for. Okay. Pick it all and click continue. Then this script has a screen recorder, this shortcut will start and stop recording and all of that. You can launch it now if you want, if you don't want to, you leave it first and continue. Okay? Now let's go to remove background noise, that's where we are talking about. <coughs> so when you click on remove background noise, you now open it, you start even setting the media and all that, you know, with removing the background noise. So you play it under that background noise. Will be low. So let's see if we can fix that here. <coughs> so as I have any movie right now, I can now use this to record. I think I can still do something. Let's see that bring that file. Let me start any file that we can use. File as new track, let's start as new track. I don't have any file on this my system. This is a new system, so I don't know if I have some files here. So let me see. Okay. I think this one has a lot. Open. Open. It's adding now. You see it's adding file. So let it add this one. It has added the file. So now that the file is added, you know you can now use it. Added and you can see our progression. Now it's added. So now that it's okay. So now that we've downloaded one, I've seen one. Thank God, at last I've seen one. I want to remove background noise from this. But before they let us play it, do we hear the noise? When it is removed, we also see we have another noise again. So we said there will be no noise again. So let's play it at this raw state. This is the one it was recorded at this raw state. So popping, listen. Hey, you are welcome to C17, C17 Digital Marketing Training. In this course, we want to learn about programming. And how can you learn programming without learning HTML? HTML 
spell html let me put it there so i can see it on my own screen html html from my google you can see html html is just called hypertext markup language and this is the most important thing when it comes to web design because like i said and when i was uh, telling you teaching you how to you can be able to bring up this vs code that you can we can work with you can you can't just build your javascript all alone you can build css all alone you can build python all alone but the fact is you can actually use html to design your website all alone only that though it's not a programming language but it's a markup language and so it may not bring out action if you want action you can now bring in the other ones like javascript python php and the rest of them but html is a building block of any website so how do you learn HTML? Without much ado, let's go straight and kick start. Some people feel that HTML is... Do you see the noise? Now I want to remove this noise. What do we do? Take your mouse to this place, the speaker. You see where I put my mouse speaker. Click on it. You see the arrow that open. You see the arrow show properties. Click on show properties. You now come down here. And now there is what they will call add effect. Are you seeing the add effect? Are you following me? Because I want to show you what is going to help you. So anytime you do your video, you don't have any noise again on it. <laughs> so now that you have open, you come to add effect. Click on add effect. From add effect, go to audio repair. From audio repair, go to studio sound. Click on studio sound. Now the background noise will completely be removed. By the time we play this again, you won't hear any background noise again. Isn't this simple? Is it difficult to learn? Of course it's not. I was actually taking you, it took us almost 10 minutes because I wanted to follow me along and get a bit. I actually believe in practical. I want to teach you in a way that you learn everything bit by bit. So you won't get confused along the line and say, no, this thing is not working. No. So I want to show where you see it work, you practice it, play this video over and over again so I can learn how to do this. And for you know, you become a professional. You know, some people can do this for video editing, audio editing, and the rest of them, screen recorder, and the rest of them. So, man, if you go to Fiverr, don't worry, I'll take you a course on Fiverr very soon. My YouTube channel, go to Fiverr, you see how people are making money from this. And remember, too, most of my training is mostly going to be programming, digital marketing. If you like coding, you have a fed for coding because Steven team is made up of professionals from different fields. There are those that will take you on coding that when you see programming, you know that yes, this is programming. That's why you build a website with your programming. They don't want to touch code at all. You want to learn how to build websites without coding, without anything. You cannot we also have professional team that will take you into digital marketing. So they have to build your website without touching any single code. So man, don't fail to subscribe to this channel. Because like I told you, you are going to learn a lot. And most of our training are free. Though some you will pay, but most are free. And the ones that are free with the quality like i said it and come and see where quality is free so we teach you quality and it's going to be free also teach you quality standard professional writing and you're going to pay for it so like when we teach you the advanced html javascript python php even if you are into data marketing man don't play with programming you have a lot to learn from it okay i'm just using this, this time because my thing is still cleaning that's i've not yet that's i'm talking so don't think i'm wasting your time it's still cleaning you see it's here it's still cleaning Waiting for it to be true so we can check it together okay when it's true we check it together so there will be no noise again <laughs> and i'll then tell you congratulations okay yeah so now let's confirm it let's play it and see what that noise is still there hey you are welcome to 17 7 digital marketing training in this course we want to learn about programming and how can you learn programming without learning html HTML, spell HTML. Let me put it there so I can see it on my own screen. HTML. HTML. From my Google, you can see HTML. HTML is just called hypertext markup language. And this is the most important thing when it comes to web design. Because, like I said, and when I was uh, telling you, teaching you how to, you can be able to bring out this VS code, that you can, you can work with you can you can't just do your 